it's me lovely Jessie I'm back here with you guys with another video to film today I thought I would film a Victoria's Secret body mist and perfume collection I recently purchased many things for them because they've been having really great sales and I have found some new favorites of mine so let's just jump right into the video another thing that I wanted to mention I did recently try the M Cosmetics highlighters and I did want to zoom in and show you guys on a full face of makeup what they look like. The one that I'm wearing today is the shade Clarity. It's the champagne one that I said had a bit of a slight gold. I chose to wear this one over the other one because I've been feeling like I'm a bit paler these days since it's winter um, but in the summertime I'll definitely be reaching more for the other shade. So I thought let me just zoom you guys in. Um, I think it looks really really beautiful. I am wearing it on the bridge of my nose and I'm wearing it on this side as well. It's a super beautiful highlight you guys. I definitely recommend and I know my contour is very strong today. I put too much, tried buffing it out the best that I could. So another thing that I wanted to mention that I recently purchased from Target, there's this skincare line called Verse. It's new at Target and I've tried some of their skincare like their retinol serum and I really really love it. And recently they came out with these mood lighting glow drops. It says peptides, blackberry extracts. You actually mix this in with your moisturizer or your foundation to give you a nice glowy look. So I was like, oh my god, you know what that would be perfect with? My Maybelline Super Stay Foundation because I love that one. It is super matte. I was like, oh gosh, I really want to try it with my Maybelline one. I did today. I covered up that pimple. I'm so tired of seeing it, you guys. <sighs> I'm super excited to be wearing this more often. So they have two shades. I got the shade Golden. They're very, very sheer. So even if, you know, you think this is like too, like, I don't know, maybe you think this is too tan for you, it really, really shears out. I'm pretty sure that any skin tan can use this. And then the deeper bronze, if you feel like it's not dark enough, it shears out. It's gonna be fine anyway. They're not like highly pigmented like that. They just kind of add this glow to your foundation. So I'm gonna mention the perfume first because there's one that I cannot stop wearing. Okay guys, so I just brought it. My first perfume that I want to talk about that has become my personal favorite is Love. Now, I really, really, really love this perfume and I'm so shocked that I haven't bought it before or actually like discovered this perfume this scent is so so comforting i spray this when i go to bed and i spray it on a day to go out and i just love the way that it smells it smells so feminine and light very airy and just comforting Okay, so I brought the uh, the box. This is the box that it came in. Super, super cute. Um, it's described as fresh juniper, apricot blush, and boyfriend tea. Um, but apricot blush, I feel like I smell that. That's the freshness that I'm talking about. It's not like a super fruity scent though, but it's got like a bit of that freshness to it. And it just smells so good. This is such a safe scent, but so beautiful to me. Like, if you're going to give a gift to a loved one on Christmas, birthday, I would say that this is a perfume that I don't feel like anybody could hate on. Like, it smells so beautiful. And like I said, so comforting. I love spraying it when I go to bed. It just smells so, so beautiful. Like, I can't stop smelling this fragrance. Yeah, this one is um, Love by Victoria's Secret. So, this is a new discovery. I've been wearing it nonstop since I got it. It's just, it's just so good. I love this scent. Like, I'm gonna spray it right now. My only complaint is that I think my bottle came kind of broken. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, see this? It's like lifting. And if you compare it to the other one, because I have another one that's um, different but the same bottle, it's supposed to be like glued down. I mean, it doesn't affect the way my perfume comes out, so I'm okay with it, but kind of noisy but I was like whatever as long as it doesn't disrupt the actual perfume and by the way can we talk about the bottle the bottle is so elegant like I actually do prefer this over the bombshell bottle like it just looks so classy okay guys so for the next fragrance that I have it is the it is the first love eau de parfum 
super, super beautiful. Now this one is super exciting because this is kind of a dupe. So the description for this is Violet Leaf, Lily of the Valley, and Sheer Musk came in this green box. I love this color so, so much. This type of green I live for. I love this green. It is so, so beautiful. Um, now this one, this one smells, this one, okay, so I was reading the reviews, right? And somebody was like, this is like a dupe for Chanel. This is like a dupe for Daisy Marc Jacobs, like the original one, the pink bottle with the flowers. And I can see like the kind of similarity. They both smell fruity, fresh, and with that twist of classiness into it. And I feel like that little classy note that you're smelling, like if you know, you know. You know how they smell. It can be described as the same category, but they don't smell the same. But, so I was like, all right, I'm gonna smell it myself and see what I feel like this smells like. This to me definitely leans more towards Chanel Eau Tendre. It is this perfume right here. So it looks like this, Chanel Eau Tendre. Chanel Eau Tendre is such a classic. Like when I was younger and I was getting into perfume, I remember I would go over to my aunt's house and I always loved her apartment. It was so, so cute. It was like a two story and like everything was white and everything just looked so pretty in her home. And I went to the bathroom and she had this sitting in her bathroom and I was like smelling it and I was like, oh my God, this smells so good. Like I wanted to be like her so bad, like have my own apartment, my own bougie perfume. And I'd always told myself, when I get older and I buy my first perfume, it's going to be Chanel Eau Tendre. And that's exactly what I bought. It smells so, so good. So anyway, everybody knows Chanel's kind of pricey. This is definitely a dupe for it. It's not spot on, but it's pretty similar. And if you wear this, if I were to smell this on somebody, I think I would question like, are you wearing Chanel? And they're just going to be like, no, it's Victoria's Secret. But yeah, as you guys can see, this is like glued down. It's not supposed to be like lifting up and rattling like my other one. Yeah, this is the um, first love. Very, very beautiful. So the next perfume that I'm going to show you guys, I was super, super excited about. They recently came out with a bombshell celebration perfume it looks like this hello can we talk about how beautiful this bottle is and it has a little tag that says bombshell celebration this one is so so good i forgot all right here we are so this is described as a rose champagne snow kissed peony and winter woods so it's a sparkling burst of fizzy fruitiness and effervescent bubbles. It's a petally feminine floralcy with an icy snow dusted twist. Winter woods, notes of sandalwood and spruce add a touch of winter freshness for a creamy comforting effect. This perfume smells different than what I pictured it to smell like. So it was bombshell, so I thought it was actually gonna be just like the original bombshell but just with a twist of something different but it's actually such a different fragrance like it doesn't smell like it at all it's a completely own it's its own fragrance i would have to say i agree with them it's definitely a winter scent it's got like a freshness to it but it's not it's not a fresh scent it smells like really high end like it's not that fruity fresh um, typical victoria's secret scent you can smell the berry in there and you can smell the iciness in it and you can definitely smell the sandalwood, which I feel like gives it a bit of a musk, but don't be afraid. It's definitely not a musky perfume. It's just got a little bit of a musk to it that I feel like Bombshell never has really had. So I think it's really beautiful. I don't see myself wearing it much in the summer, but this is a perfect winter fragrance because we're in winter time already almost. So yeah, you definitely smell the peony. You definitely smell the sandalwood. You do smell the creaminess in here and you smell the rose champagne. That's what it is. It um, has rose champagne and I feel like that is so true. And I don't think it's, it's rose, it's rosé. So I was like, oh yeah, yeah. Definitely smells like what the notes claim that they would be. So if you can kind of picture in your head what it smells like based off reading the notes, I would say that it's pretty accurate. I love this fragrance. I've also been wearing this nonstop. And I love that it smells different from what I had imagined it to smell like. Okay, guys, moving on to the next um, category. We're talking about the mists now. I'm going to go in with like their fall collection. I think it was supposed to be. First, let's talk about Lost in a Daydream. It looks like this. It's got beautiful, beautiful, is it, what is it? Like a meadow in the background? I don't know, it pops out really nicely though. So this one, 
This one to me smells very girly, fresh, and fruity. It's described as crisp apple, hazelnut woods, autumn in the air. So I definitely feel like I smell the apple and the hazelnut. So it smells fruity and crisp and very fall-like. This smells really, really cute. I like it. They have another one called Wander the Meadow. Now, I've been watching a lot of Victoria's Secret body mist hauls and everybody's hating on this one. Like, they're saying it smells sour and disgusting and like all these bad things. And I'm like, what are they smelling? It smells so good to me. I don't understand. So it's described as a strawberry rhubarb. Freesia Blooms floating through florals. Now this to me smells very similar to Marc Jacobs Perfect. I'm going to show you guys real quick. I loved this one last summer. I was wearing it nonstop. Smelled it in a magazine. I was like, I gotta have it and I had it. So it smells so similar to me. I feel like if they came out with a body mist version and they had this, I would think that it was that. Like it smells super, super similar. So if you know what this smells like or if you want to feel like you're wearing Marc Jacobs and you just want to buy a body mist, definitely check this one out. So the next one that um, I have is Midnight Bloom. I find myself touching this one a little less. Not that it smells bad. I just feel like they have better ones. It just smells... I mean, it smells good, but to me, it's kind of boring. It's Moonflower, Creamy Woods, and Star Crust Lover. I would definitely say I can smell like the creaminess to it, but I can't really see. It's just kind of boring. It just smells like one scent and that's it. It's not a bad fragrance. I just, I don't personally find this one the best one in their collection. Okay, the next one I'm super excited to talk about because I really love this one. Somebody said that this smelled very high end. This is another line that they have. I don't know what it's called though. Um, they look like this. They're very like holographic. So I got patchouli rose. Now normally I don't like rose fragrance. I like the way roses smell on roses, but I don't want to smell like a rose. However, this one, they added something else in here to make it like not smell like just straight rose. And when someone said that it had smelled high end, I totally agree. So this one says patchouli unearthed rose. This patchouli is in a lot of high end fragrances. It also says it has flowering peach and spirited allure. I think the peach is what makes the the rose kind of a toned down fragrance. It smells really good, you guys. I love this fragrance. But yeah, definitely give this one a try. The next one they had that caught my attention was Orchid Santel. Looks like this. Beautiful blue green bottle. Now this one says Orchid Amplify Santel, Prismatic Iris, and Kaleidoscopic Days. I got this because I like orchids and I was like, okay, I'll just get it because it has orchids in it. But this does smell really good. It smells like a fresh green aquatic scent in my opinion. I do smell like iris. I don't really know, like I know what orchids smell like because I think now that I think about it, a lot of fragrances say orchid. So yeah, I had, I just knew this was going to smell good and it does. So give this one a try as well, you guys. Next scent I want to talk about is these lines right here. They are the original classic Victoria's Secret fragrances, but they're the untamed versions. Now, if you own the original Pure Seduction Velvet Petals, these do smell different enough to go ahead and purchase them. I was like, do I really want to buy it? I already own the original. Is it going to smell the exact same? But no, they smell pretty different. So if you want to give it a try, I definitely recommend. My favorite was definitely Velvet Petals. Smells so good, you guys. I love what they did with it. So it's Luscious Almond, Moonlit Woods, Velvet Petals in the Wild. I smell the almond. I smell everything like it's a creamy scent. It's one of those perfumes that you just want to keep sniffing all day. So that's like really good. I really love this fragrance. Give it a try. The bottle is so freaking cute. Okay, so the next one is Love Spell. This one also a really good scent. Everybody knows the classic love spell, but this smells so different from the original. It's definitely got the original notes in it, but like with a really nice twist. So if you're like sick of that scent or you're like, oh, I don't like it. It's like very, oh, like reminds you of like middle school like it does to me. Get this one. This one smells really different. Like a mature version. Like love spell grew up like the rest of us. The next scent is Pure Seduction Untamed. Looks like this. Yes, I love the color. This is ripened berry violet leaves. I'm going to be honest, Pure Seduction has never been my absolute favorite. It's been a favorite of a lot of people, but it's never really been mine. Not that it smells bad or anything, because it smells really good. It's just never been my absolute favorite. Definitely smells like berry, says violet. This to me smells closest to the original, so I would say with this one... If you have the original, you could probably skip out on this. The next scent I want to talk about is Soft and Dreamy. It's one of the pink 
um, perfumes. So I was going to get Warm and Cozy, but I feel like everybody has that one, and I was kind of over it, like, eh, I'm just going to try a different one. But I kind of regret it, because this... While this smells really good, it disappears within a freaking minute. So the notes in this are violet petals, fresh peony, and sun-kissed woods. My problem with this is that even when I go to bed, by the time I hit the pillow, I don't even smell this on me anymore. And it's a shame because it smells really good. It smells good. It smells fresh, clean, you know. Um, but it just doesn't last. Next fragrance that I have is the Victoria's Secret Nectar Wave. Now this one I expected to smell so so different. Got like this matte look. I hecka thought it was gonna be like a super fruity fresh scent. Now to me this is a fruity sweet scent. Not a fruity fresh scent. It's a fruity sweet scent. It smells very very sweet but it still smells really good. It's just that in my head I thought it was gonna be a really good fresh agave scent so it has fresh agave pink berries and it says go with the flow it does smell really good though it smells really really cute like really sweet very addictive like definitely something you would wear on a date night i just wanted it to be a bit more fresh like aqua kiss so moving on to my last but favorite classic aqua kiss you guys this will hands down forever be my favorite fragrance from victoria's secret period in general if they came out with the perfume of this i would die it would be my favorite perfume i i love this scent so much it smells so good this one forever gives me compliments my only problem which is kind of a big problem with this perfume is the longevity of it i feel like it's pretty poor and it's very disappointing because this deserves a better longevity a better projection it just deserves better like please victoria's secret work on making this one smell longer because there's some body mist that i have from victoria's secret that lasts longer than others they're not all the same some of them last longer than others and this one doesn't last that long so i do keep it in my bag and spray myself constantly but how nice would it be to just not have to do that you know so i just think this deserves better but this one, you guys, is Cool Waters, Bright Daisy, Make a Splash. This one, to me, smells very high-end. It smells high-end, fresh, like you just got out the shower, but you're wearing this very luxurious perfume. I just love this scent. If you have not smelled it, give it a try. If you've, It's been around for a while, so if you just like always pass it by, smell it. It smells so beautiful seriously my favorite my favorite scent of all time of all time even over all my um high-end perfumes like this scent is just one that is so so good to me so give it a shot because that is recently the victoria's um body mist collection that i have that i well i have more but these are the ones that I've purchased recently. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to see more, let me know. But I have covered them in my past videos, I believe. And yeah, I, um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching my video. I hope it was helpful. Maybe you guys are thinking about purchasing some perfumes yourself. I know right now they have a deal currently. I think it's like five for 30 something. So go ahead and shop away, you guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya.